Okay, now that you know what sleep apnea does sound like, I did have two separate clips, one without a stop snoring device and one with one. I don't remember which mouthpiece I was using for that clip, but uh, these are the main stop snoring mouthpieces or anti-snoring devices. There's a lot of mouthpieces out there. Um, most of them will reduce your snoring. They're all uncomfortable at first, some more than others. Zypo was the worst one for me. I would never use that one, but uh, ZQuiet was my favorite because they have what's called the Living Hinge technology. They all work on the same concept. You can see the this lower part sticks out farther. They're designed to hold your lower jaw out farther past your upper jaw while you're sleeping and keep your airway open. The only problem I found with them is when you're um, sleeping straight up and down, it puts more pressure on that lower jaw, so it just puts a lot of weight on that mouthpiece. It's a lot of torque, and your jaw can still just fall back a little bit too far. So you could hear me snoring still. Anyways, that's what sleep apnea sounds like. Even when I wasn't snoring in the first clip without a, a device, you can still hear me like breathing deeply because I'm struggling to bring in enough air so you don't get enough oxygen at night. So the first thing I did was I didn't realize I had sleep apnea until I got married. I was snoring really loud, which was the main indicator for me, although I did have a lot of daytime fatigue and sleepiness that I just thought was part of working crazy hours and not getting enough sleep. I didn't attribute it to sleep apnea. I had no clue really. I just uh, ordered the Z Quiet mouthpiece. My wife and I were really surprised that it worked right away. It pretty much stopped my snoring except for like I said when I was sleeping on my back. I don't want to bore you to death so to move on I used the Z Quiet mouthpiece for quite a few years and I had always promised my wife I'd get a sleep study done just to completely get rid of my snoring if I could. Kept putting it off and putting it off. I finally just decided to go get one for the heck of it. And I was actually diagnosed with moderate sleep apnea, which they diagnosed me with a Philips Respironics Extreme Station CPAP machine. It's changed my life quite a bit. It works with continuous positive airway pressure, which is what CPAP actually stands for, or continuous positive 
air pressure <clears throat> one of the two but positive just means it's always going in so you always have air pressure inside your airways and lungs to keep them open and it has just enough pressure so that when you breathe out it keeps them open but you can still breathe out but then your airway is still open when you breathe in again so you keep that oxygen circulating and you won't get those sounds that you saw in the video clips um, my wife said I do very rarely snore still even with the CPAP mask on but uh, it's usually the same thing with the mouthpiece when I'm laying straight up and down on my back so anyways I just wanted to show you what sleep apnea sounds like so if you're wondering now you know and ahead of time you know what you can do about it you can always order the Z quiet mouthpiece I mean it comes within days it's a really good comp company if you hate it, you have like 30 to 60 days, I don't quite remember to get a refund, so it's not a big deal. If you don't like it, just send it back, get your money back. Um, on another note, Zypa, which I really don't like that company, hopefully I don't get in trouble, but I try to send their mouthpiece back. They preach about some tongue stabilizing device that holds your tongue down, and it just made me gag like crazy, I hated it. Anyway, Zypa won't give you your money back, they'll just ignore you. But the uh, Z-Quiet's pretty ethical, they'll give your money back right away. You can just use that, and if you hate it, it doesn't work. Um, regardless, it's just a quick fix until you can get to the doctor. Go to the doctor, tell them you snore, you want to get checked for sleep apnea, whatever. They'll send you in for a sleep study. I highly recommend an in-clinic sleep study. That's what I got done. It was covered by health insurance. So there you go. Now you know what sleep apnea sounds like, and now you know what you can do about it. So good luck.